variety. I did like 10 minutes of what I would call Hanuman breathing. Um, that's basically breathing <clears throat> where you focus on the breath and you're trying to transcend your thoughts. You're trying to get out of your thoughts and you're trying to come into the present moment. So sometimes the breath is inaudible, like you can't hear it and that would be like optimal. But if, if you're having trouble, uh, if you're having trouble going beyond your thoughts and focusing on the breath, then you exhale and inhale a little bit louder. So it'd be like, like that. And I do that on the wall. Like whenever I'm climbing on intense shit and I need to like get out of my head, I will immediately just naturally start going like, it's kind of like my way of focusing on the breath. So I did about 10 minutes of that. I'm feeling very present and very good. Let's, uh, let's give Choyner and Soul another shot. And also Paul's here. Hi, Paul. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Stony Point shirt man. That's right. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's flop on Choyner's hole again. <laughs> See if I've gained any upper body strength. Shit. <laughs> yeah. So you start just like I on guess. the left side of Choyner's hole. Yeah, I guess right here. Yeah. Like it seems more of <laughs> and it's like, painted. <laughs> I sworn it was it a little bit better before. But and then there's this move right here that's pretty slopey. Yeah, so but once you're up there, it looks really good. It looks really fine once you're up there. I just see jug after well, jug after jug. Well, but it's, it's jug. hard to get to there. Yeah, because you have that move. better for you to go like anywhere else do yeah, that it actually feels better down yeah so. then do that and just focus on the breath if you focus on the breath you won't be thinking you can breathe into your body like your physical body like 
you don't have to control the breath at all, but just kind of watch it. Like if you watch the breath, it's instead of the breathing happening through like your lizard brain and like the middle of your like subconscious brain, it actually gets registered through the prefrontal cortex. And you're strengthening your prefrontal cortex like a muscle. So every conscious breath you take, it's like weightlifting for your prefrontal cortex. And your prefrontal cortex of your brain has to do with higher reasoning and higher functioning and just, you know, like higher consciousness things. So you're literally increasing your consciousness by consciously breathing, just being aware of your breath. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> so yeah, hands together and uh, just keep breathing into your body. <coughs> There's a lot of random thoughts popping up it helps to make the breath a little bit louder so like when i'm climbing and i need to like really focus in like i'm going through some crazy inner tur turmoil hell or like i'm on a high ball and i you know i don't want to die or something <clears throat> i'll just be like <clears throat> and that aligns you pretty well in the now standard practices if you can go like at least five seconds without a thought that's what I consider myself like primed and ready to go that's why I do the hands together thing before climbing because like it's more effective if I climb with presence so yeah like I'd say like five to ten seconds without a thought and like the practice is basically done and throughout your day or climbing or daily life whatever you can always just like take conscious breaths and that brings you back to the present moment. <clears throat> How's that? I know, it's good. <laughs> I, uh... It's a sick cross thing. If you are. Yeah, let's go. Once again, back at the Nemesis Climb, this hellish tree branch mantle, which just features a tree that is directly in the way, chossy little feet to bump up with right there, and then like mantle holds that are in the wrong position. And then on the other side, High balls. Lots and lots of scary high balls. Ooh, and a gecker. Wait, I wanna get this guy in video. Baby, come back. You can blend all on me. Where'd you go? 
think the gecko's in there or something. Did I just see him poke out of there? I gotta get gecko. The snow hand's climbing. It's difficult. Crap. I don't know how to climb up there to get the gecko with one hand. Gecker. Gecker. There's still this V three or four going straight up here today. I might want to work on because I can just bail out left or even right. Just go over a beehive. And then in addition, there is this, which supposedly gets heady at the top. And I can see that but it looks very doable. I feel like trying it today. And then not today, but another time, we got Night Train. I don't even know what to say about this, except what the fuck. And then I might work on the Traverse today. Unleash your soul. The only issue is this part right here. It's pretty painted, does not look good. I would have to maybe go high so I can step on these and then go low again. Yeah, I think that's possible. I think it's doable. I'll try the traverse today. Boy, I love me some painted rock.
on roller coaster right now, and I get about halfway up before that mantle move. And it just looks really sketchy because it looks higher up than how high I really am. I don't know if I can down climb it. It's just nerves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some meditation work. So I know I can physically do the route, but I'm gonna do some meditation work and work through my fear on this route so I can hopefully send it. So I guess what would work best for that is try one off breathing, just big ass breaths. Yeah! <laughs>